Hi everyone, um, I'd like to welcome you to the very first of my solo sessions, which is uh, a really exciting new project. Um, a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago in fact, when this whole crisis started, um, I was in touch with some of my closest composer friends, people who have written for me recently or with whom I was working on new pieces. And I just said to them, if you feel like writing something that reflects how you're feeling at the moment, then you know, feel free to send it over and, um, and I'll record it. And, and just, I just want to see where that went. And some people have, uh, quite a few people have written amazing pieces. So it's turned into a little project. And it was really inspired by the first piece that I'm going to um, record today. Um, because uh, this piece was um, already, already written and it was due to be premiered two weeks ago at the Bromsgrove International Competition's 40th anniversary um, concert in Bromsgrove. And um, the Bromsgrove competition is a competition that I won when I was at Music College and they've been wonderfully supportive of me ever since. Um, and so they commissioned this piece for their 40th anniversary concert, which has been postponed now until the end of the year or the beginning of next year, we'll see. And um, so uh, when they asked me who they'd like, who I'd like to um, commission a new piece from, um, my uh, mind immediately went to an American composer who I met about a year ago at a festival in Tucson. Um, and uh, his name is Chris Rogerson. And when I met him, he had just written the most amazingly beautiful string quartet. And I just, I was just desperate to play some of his music. So this is, this is what it's end up, ended up being. Um, so he's written me this piece for solo soprano saxophone. It's called Four Simple Songs. And today I'm going to play the, um, the fourth movement, which is called Epilogue Dreams. And the whole piece is going to be premiered when the Bromsgrove competition for 40th anniversary concert finally happens. Um, so I'm looking forward to that very much. But in the meantime, here's Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Nice to see you again. <laughs> good to see you via Zoom. <laughs> via Zoom. This is my first Zoom, so I'm just absolutely useless. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so you're well, you're doing okay? Yeah, everything's good. I hope you're well too. Yes, we're fine. Thank you. Just, um, yep, same thing every day. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and how's life changed for you? over the last few weeks? Uh, well, I've been very fortunate in that, you know, my family's okay. I just, I actually moved into a new house in Philadelphia uh, right before all of this kind of really got crazy. And so it's been actually uh, okay for me because I moved in and then I really haven't left the house. Mm -hmm. um, so I've gotten a lot of time to work on it, but I know a lot of people are less fortunate yeah. that I am but uh yeah it's been okay I mean I'm just trying to uh trying to compose and kind of keep going as normal but that's a lot uh, more difficult than right. than it sounds like unfortunately. are you finding working at the moment <laughs> oh it's it's tough I mean it's uh you know I hesitate to like say anything too negative because I like you know so many of my friends are performers and they have been hit so hard by this where you know all of their work is cancelled um so you know composers you know we're <laughs> we're usually like pretty low on the totem pole normally but you know for us I think that you know it hasn't hit us yet as much as it has performers Mm -hmm. That being said, the work, I just do not feel, I have to be very honest and say that I just do not feel inspired to work right now. I, I just don't, I don't really know how to conjure that up. Um, kind of every piece, kind of every area that I go to in my work, like, feels wrong for mm -hmm. some reason. I don't know why that is. Uh, interaction it, with performance? Or, sorry? Is it a lack of interaction with performance, do you think? I think that that's definitely a part of it. And I think it's also just a psychological thing of, you know, we don't know when things will get back to normal. 
Yeah. And, you know, so if I'm writing a piece that's supposed to be premiered in August, you know, I should be okay with finishing that piece, no matter whether the performance happens or not, but kind of this cloud hanging over your head of, you know, will this actually happen makes it difficult to, yeah. to actually write it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. I know exactly how you feel. But you have written the most beautiful, beautiful piece for me. And unfortunately, oh. it wasn't able to be premiered, but it will be <laughs> someday. <laughs> but um, they've, uh, the Brahms Group competition who commissioned it have very kindly said that I could open my solo sessions with um, one of the movements. So, um, the one that I recorded is called Dreams. And um, uh, you finished that a couple of months ago, I guess, um, and uh, and it, it, I've just I've just really really enjoyed playing it. It's it's so expressive, and you bring out so much, even though it's just one li line of music. It's it's amazing. Right. Well, I should say that you know, like when we first met in Arizona, we were at a, you know the same festival together, uh, and. I heard your playing, it was just so beautiful. And I was so excited to write this piece. And yeah, so the last movement is like, it's funny, I always say that uh, every piece I write has a lullaby in it, it seems like. There's a lullaby in every single one. I don't know why that is, uh, but there seems to be one. In any case, uh, there's probably like two or three in this one. <laughs> this piece but the last movement this is actually the fourth movement of four uh four movements and uh the idea is that it's less a lullaby and more like you know we've drifted off into the world of dreams and so i kind of wanted to express something you know peaceful and serene, but also kind of mysterious and um, kind of searching in a way, if that makes sense. Uh, and so the kind of harmony of the movement kind of shifts around um, and is kind of, it's not so stable. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about it. I, I, I yeah. Well, thank you very much. And I've just uh, recorded it a couple of hours ago. So, oh, great. Yeah. Can't wait to hear it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, well, thank you very much for speaking. Um, oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks. Thanks so much for putting this together. I'm so looking forward to it. That's great. Yeah. Oh, lovely to see you. <laughs> I'll see you soon. You. Stay well. Stay safe. <laughs> yeah, you too. Bye. Okay. Bye.